Hello guys, my name is Erks, and today I've got another gameplay commentary for you guys. It's going to be a, a, a quicker one, because this is just a, a little bit of news and an update at the end, so I'm going to just get right into it really quick. Uh, the first thing is a new technology that I am going to call Invisible Tanks, because it is a new kind of camouflage called e-camouflage. So essentially what this is, is uh, you put sensors on all sides of uh, these new tanks, and these sensors detect the images in front of them. And then at the same time, they're sending those images to the opposite side uh, where they are displayed. Uh, so, in effect, what you're seeing if you're looking at this tank is uh, what would be on the other side. So, uh, like if you're just looking through it, pretty much. And so, you know, that makes it invisible. It's an invisible tank. Um, so why is this necessary? You know, aside from... <laughs> Uh, the obvious reason of just being an invisible killing machine. It's actually really necessary in a specific situation, uh, like let's say if you're in a region that uh, is different in landscape or color from most of the other places around it, such as the green zone, which is a place where uh, Taliban like to hang out. So obviously, uh, most places where you would expect the Taliban to be, and because it's true, it's uh, it's not green. <laughs> it's actually more of a, that desert kind of environment and climate. So most of the tanks uh, have this uh, desert camo on, obviously. You know, so they blend in better with the desert environment. Uh, but if you're in this green zone, which is actually a hotbed for, uh, you know, Taliban's just like hanging out, then uh, you're gonna stick out pretty bad if you send a giant brown tank in there. So what this would do, is, uh, you know, covered up pretty nicely and you would blend in. And if it worked really well, you know, you'd actually just be invisible uh, wherever you went. Pretty awesome. And uh, I think that's scheduled to have some kind of operational prototype around 2013. So that's not that long, uh, considering <laughs> considering how awesome it sounds. So moving on, uh, there's a second technology I want to bring up, and that is called biometric integration. And so what that is, is basically like a computer algorithm type thing and so it scans a crowd and takes note of certain behaviors and features that might indicate the presence of a threat so it might look at your clothes or even scan your face and eyes uh, your iris uh, to see if it matches a terrorist uh, in a database so for example uh, it might take note of a lot of people wearing like all red <laughs> or um, all blue or something like that and say like oh you know those are probably some dangerous fellas i'm talking about bloods and crips not really <laughs> taliban uh but you know similar uh it's an analogous situation uh, and so obviously that's a lot safer and probably faster uh you know compared to just like a guy going out there saying like hey are you a blood or a crip dog <laughs> Okay, so anyway, uh, yeah, I found that stuff pretty cool. I hope you guys like that. And so I'm gonna get in my update really quick. So pretty much uh, my spring semester started and I'm in college, so it's actually pretty hectic. So I'll be able to update, or I mean upload a video maybe like once a week, maybe twice, and maybe more if I can figure out a way to like do a bunch at once. But it's definitely gonna slow down. So I hope you guys are okay with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, well, you can check out some of my other stuff, which is probably a little more interesting. Uh, this was just more of an update video. And if you didn't enjoy this, well, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's it for me. Bye.